welcome back welcome to this awareness course where we have 30 days schedule and on daily basis we are covering one topic i'm sure it is easy to spare 15 20 minutes on daily basis so that we can at least go through few things and we can learn few new things also right so we'll begin with safety talk we'll go through three subtopics today's subtopics after these uh, explanations then we'll go through the quiz we will have 20 mcq questions along with correct answers we'll have explanations also so don't forget to share with your friends don't forget to subscribe also look into the description box where a lot of links have been given you can go through the links you can navigate through the content uh, published on this youtube channel and on epc land right a lot of videos courses free and paid both a lot of quizzes are there right articles are there you can go through that if you like the content don't forget to share with your friends so let's begin let's welcome our friend mr peter who will explain the today's topic so first begin with the safety talk so let's start hello everyone today's safety talk is about hot work safety including welding and cutting to minimize fire hazards and injuries risk assessment before beginning any hot work activities, conduct a thorough risk assessment. Identify potential hazards and plan safety measures accordingly. measures accordingly. Clear the area, clear the area of flammable materials, liquids, and debris. Have fire extinguishing equipment nearby and ready for use in case of emergencies. Personal protective equipment, PPE always wear appropriate PPE, such as welding helmets gloves, and fire-resistant clothing. PPE provides essential protection. Ventilation in confined spaces. In confined spaces, ensure proper ventilation to prevent the buildup of hazardous fumes. Adequate ventilation is crucial for safety. Fire person, after completing hot work, have a designated fire watch person in place for at least 30 minutes. This ensures prompt action in case of any fire ignition. Equipment cooling, never leave hot work equipment unattended. Allow it to cool down properly before storage to avoid accidental burns or fires. Remember, following hot work safety guidelines can prevent fire accidents and injuries. Let's prioritize safety during all hot work activities. Hello everyone! In today's session, we'll be delving into an important topic, causes and effects of piping vibration. It's crucial to understand this concept as it can have a significant impact on the integrity of our piping systems. Introduction to piping vibration, let's start by getting a grasp of what piping vibration is and why it matters. Essentially, it refers to the movement or oscillation of pipes, which can have various causes and effects. Fluid flow induced vibration. One of the primary causes of piping vibration is fluid flow. The way fluids move through the pipes can create turbulence, velocity changes, and pressure fluctuations, leading to vibration. Resonance and natural frequencies. Resonance is an important phenomenon to be aware of. When the natural frequency of a piping system matches an external force's frequency, it can result in amplified vibrations that may be destructive. Mechanical and structural causes, mechanical factors like pumps, compressors, and other equipment can introduce vibrations into the piping system due to their operation. Effects on piping components, the effects of vibration on piping components can be detrimental. It can lead to fatigue, increased stress, and, in the worst cases, failure of the components. Noise and vibration transmission, vibration isn't limited to the pipes themselves. It can generate noise and can also be transmitted to other parts of the facility, affecting nearby equipment and structures. Operational and environmental factors, piping vibration can be influenced by various factors, including changes in flow rates, temperature fluctuations, and external forces acting on the system. Safety and reliability implications. It's important to recognize that piping vibration isn't just an annoyance. It poses safety risks and can compromise the reliability of the entire system. 
And that wraps up our discussion on causes and effects of piping vibration. Stay tuned for our next session, where we'll delve into mitigation strategies for vibration. Keep learning and expanding your knowledge until then. Hello everyone. Welcome to today's session where we'll dive into mitigation strategies for piping vibration. As we learned in our previous session, piping vibration can have serious effects on our systems, but the good news is that there are effective strategies to mitigate it. So, let's get started. Isolation techniques, one of the key ways to tackle vibration is through isolation. By using techniques like vibration isolators and flexible supports, we can prevent the transmission of vibrations from one component to another. Damping solutions, damping is another roach. It involves using materials or devices that absorb and dissipate vibration energy, reducing its impact. Piping system design, the design of our piping system plays a crucial role. Proper layout, sizing, and support can minimize the potential for vibrations to occur. Control valve selection, choosing the right control valves can be vital in mitigating vibration caused by fluid flow. The design and type of valve can significantly affect the system's vibration behavior. Balancing and alignment, proper balancing and alignment of equipment is essential. Unbalanced or misaligned equipment can introduce vibration into the system. Diagnostics and monitoring. Implementing vibration monitoring systems allows us to detect abnormal vibrations in real time. This helps us take corrective actions before the situation worsens. Maintenance and inspection. Regular maintenance and inspection practices help identify and address vibration-related issues before they escalate. Operational changes, sometimes, simple changes in the way the system is operated can help control and manage vibrations effectively. And that wraps our discussion on mitigation strategies for piping vibration. In our next session, we will delve into analysis and testing methods to further enhance our understanding. Keep learning and stay curious. Hello there, folks. Welcome to today's session on analysis and testing methods. In this session, we're going to delve into the fascinating world of analyzing and testing piping systems. So, let's get started. Finite element analysis, FEA our first method is called finite element analysis. This involves using powerful computer simulations to study complex behaviors of piping components helping us understand how they respond to different loads and forces. Modal analysis, next up is modal analysis. Here, we study how sensors vibrate at their natural frequencies. It's like getting to know the unique vibration signature of a piping system. Frequency response testing, frequency response testing allows us to measure how a piping system responds to different frequencies of loading. It's like checking how the system dan dances to different beats. Vibration monitoring, real-time vibration monitoring is crucial. It's like having a watchful eye that alerts us if anything's not grooving as it should be in our piping system. Modal testing, now let's talk about modal testing. This hands-on involves exciting the system and measuring its response. It's like experimenting to see if the dance matches the music we expected. Strain gauge measurements, ever wondered how we measure deformation? That's where strain gauge measurements come in. These clever devices tell us how, how much something has bent or stretched. Ultrasonic testing, ultrasonic testing is like giving our pipes an ultrasound. High-frequency sound waves help us see beneath the surface without causing any harm. Impact testing. Lastly, we have impact testing. Imagine subjecting materials to controlled impacts, a bit like tapping a glass to hear its tone. 
This helps us analyze how materials react to sudden forces. And that's a wrap for today's session on analysis and testing methods. In our next exciting topic, we'll be diving into understand CUI and its risks. So, stay curious and keep exploring the world of piping.
by this we are done with today's topic we had safety talk we had a discussion on three subtopics quiz correct answers and their explanations so we are having 30 days schedule with us we are covering one topic a day so i'm sure 15 20 minutes we can spare on daily basis so that we can go through the content don't forget to share with your friends so that everybody gets to know at least few uh, new things don't forget to subscribe so that you get the latest updates we are going to launch many more awareness courses on this channel so it is if you are sub subscribing to this channel you will get the regular updates also don't forget to look into the description box where a lot of new links are given you can navigate through available courses free and paid both a lot of videos playlist quizzes which are published on uh, epc land so go through these links if you find something useful you can share with your friends also so by this we are going to cover rest of the topics also we'll tomorrow also we'll start with safety talk then we'll uh, have an explanation to these three subtopics then we'll have quiz along with the correct answers we'll have explanations so stay tuned keep learning thank you for watching